Hi, this is Danielle. Welcome to the Simpler Options free video for August 9th. So today I'm going to be talking about an earnings continuation play. So it hasn't fully set up yet, but I'm going to be watching this first thing at market open tomorrow because I think that it has a potential for a nice day trade on a Friday. Why is that? Well, looking at the stock right here, we have a ticker that was within a stone's throw of all time highs. We also have something that is on the Investor's Business Daily Top 50 list. It's number four, so that shows that it has strong fundamentals and technicals. And you have something that was already in buy mode via ready aim fire with symmetry right here. All of that looks good on the daily chart. Now, what happened after hours was it had a solid earnings move and it just traded all the way up to 109.70. So that being said, you know, that is going to be the new all time high. Now, why is that significant? Well, for a couple of reasons. First of all, because it has high short interest. So if you go to Finviz, this is what I like to use to look for high short interest and you type in TTD, you can see right here, it's got a short float of 14%. So when you have something that has between 10 and 20% high short interest and it gaps up like that overnight, those shorts start covering very quickly in the morning especially when it's a new all-time high and you tend to get a very fast continuation type move. So that will set us up for a day trade. The other reason is because of the market maker expected move on earnings. Now I admit right now it's not perfect for the setup, but it could be tomorrow. So that's why I want to point it out. Looking at the market maker move right now, it's a, it's at 13 bucks. So. Generally, what I like to do is look at that and say, all right, well, is this move within the market maker expected move or is it one and a half times or even better, two times the expected market maker move? So if the market makers are pricing in 13 bucks and the thing trades higher, you know, if it gaps up $20, that would be a one and a half times about. Or if it trades up, of course, $26, that's going to be a 2x move. So not quite there just yet, um, but due to that high short interest, I do think that this could be a really nice momentum play setting up tomorrow. So how do you know? Well, what I like to do is I like to watch my 15 minute charts. Now that's going to be the more conservative way to do it. Uh, you can just do it on the open. That's going to be much more aggressive, um, but the more conservative way to do it is going to be um, on the break of the first 15 minute range. So I'm going to use Roku as an example because this was a 2x move today. Well, and again, I say 2x move when it wasn't quite mathematically a 2x move. However, the momentum came in. So, you know, you got to look at kind of the combination of factors. So for example, Roku, and this could happen tomorrow um, with TTD, wasn't quite the 2x move, but it had an immediate breach of that 15 minute range and traded higher carrying momentum for most of the rest of the day. So looking at that, um, you know, I went ahead and bought that this morning on the breach of that 15 minute range. It was initially for a day trade, but I ended up staying in it because it had another 15 minute squeeze and I'm going to try to get another leg out of it tomorrow. So if you want to trade TTD, I would look for that break of the 15 minute range, buy some long calls. You can also sell some put credit spreads. Can't give you the levels yet because I don't know where it's going to be trading tomorrow. Um, but the very big caveat to this is if it does not have a continuation move and you do not get a breach of the 15 minute range or the five if you're using that lower time frame and instead it just sells off, that trade setup is not valid. So it's only valid if the momentum comes through. Here's an example of one that did not come through. Etsy. This is what happened with Etsy overnight. Very nice move, but then first thing in the morning, you get a 15 minute candle and boom, sellers come in. So that is not a continuation play. So we're looking for the breach. 
So anyhow, um, if I end up trading it, I'll post my orders in the trading room tomorrow. But I think with that high short interest, the new all-time highs, long play in TTD for tomorrow could be a honey badger. All right, now one more thing I did want to discuss with you is the webinar that I'm going to be doing tonight. So we are going to be talking about setting up your foundation to success. So this is called the So You Want to Be a Trader webinar. And I'm going to be talking about a couple key points, which is number one, how to identify your trading style. Where do you start? All right, good. Now we need to talk about the components of a successful trade. What do you need to have a successful trade? Five components and that is your foundation. We're going to be talking about my favorite high probability setup that is the basis to everything that I do. You have to get that base right if you want to, you know, really add on anything else. So this is the base. We're going to be talking about Fibonacci and primarily 1272, 1618, your extension targets, how to take profits, um, and how to also recognize when a trade is failing at a resistance level. We're going to be talking about executing your trade ideas and very importantly, how to utilize your technology. So again, this webinar is going to be tonight, Thursday, August 9th at 7 o'clock. You can get there by using this link right here. Let me see if I can make that bigger for you. But it's just going to be simplertrading.co slash success. So you can see that right there, simplertrading.co slash success. Hope to see you there.